Yo, what is going on guys? Johnny GB here bringing you guys another Pokemon TCGO deck profile. So we're still going to be diving into the standard format here and I got a couple decks I'm looking to profile over here the next couple weeks. But this one is something that I'm actually thoroughly enjoying. Before we do that, go ahead, hit the like button, comment, support the channel. We have Zoroark Decidueye. So I mean, I've been messing around with a lot of decks here. So no longer have those four standard decks. I have seven or eight now. And Zoroark Decidueye is actually one I'm actually having a lot of fun with. Uh, man, I think I finished second in one of the tournaments here. I ended up losing to Glaceon, Zoroark, which actually pretty much counters this deck, and I actually might end up building that deck. But we're going to hop and take a look at the deck right here real quick. So starting it off, we have one Oranguru with resource management. So this is pretty much put three cards on the bottom of my deck for my discard pile, which is actually very good to have, seeing as there's not much recovery to get items back from the discard pile. So it also helps in stuff like... Uh, Garboder matches, I can take three of my item cards from the bottom of the discard pile. Now Garboder's doing less. We have a 4-4 line of Zerua and Zoroark. So 4-4 four four is just uh, very easily manageable. Uh, you can get three out, and you really just want to get two or three Zoroark out. Uh, because the main thing you want are your Decidueye. So I, I play 3-1-3 line of the Decidueye, and I'm loving this, uh, because you can get 2-3 to three onto the bench during a game. You can sit there spam fer Feather Arrows, so now you're dealing 60 damage to your opponent's side, taking out basic Pokemon that are thrown onto the bench, like Bullpicks. I play one of the Shining Legends Latios, so this one does 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon and 30 damage to one of your bents. You can also get KOs on stuff like uh, Shuppet, which is that, actually no, I don't think you get a KO on Shuppet. You might, I'm not, I gotta double check that one, but I'm pretty sure you do not. Uh, but you're doing 30 damage to Shuppet, then you can pick it off with a Feather Arrow, and it's gone, you're doing also 30 damage to a Pokemon on the bench. And then one copy of Tapu Lele. So then, supporters. Energy Lotto, I have two of, or three of, wait, no, two of in the deck. Because it's hard to really get those double colorless energy, so getting Energy Lotto to really thin your deck is actually a help. We have one copy of Escape Rope, two copies of Max Potion in case your opponent does try to go and attack the Decidueye. You can actually heal up your Pokemon. Um... Uh, Palpad, just to add some supporters back into my deck. Four copies of Nest Ball. This is, again, just to search out uh, a lot of my basics, my Zerua, my Rowlets, get them out onto the bench as soon as possible. We have one, uh, three copies of Rare Candy, one Rescue Stretcher, one Switch, uh, three copies of Timer Ball. Again, this is a lot of deck thinning. I want to be able to get to my cards as quickly as possible so I can get my Zoroarks, get my Decidueyes. I have four copies of Ultra Ball, again, just to start searching, thinning my deck, getting the cards I need. One Ace Roller, it's always good to pick up a Zoroark potentially when you have another one already set up, or two set up, that way you can pick up that DCE, get it into play. One Apricorn Maker, four Cynthia, one Guzma, one Judge, two Lily, one Mallow, one Pokemon Fan Club, uh, two Choice Band, and then a 4-2 Energy Line. So. Something I am looking to add to the deck potentially would be field blowers. Uh, field blower I feels like a pretty good one to add onto it. Also, pat on the top of my head. Oh, it, it'll come to me later on. But field blower is one of the ones I was looking. Oh, enhanced hammer. That was the other card I was looking at potentially adding into the deck. So maybe cut a couple ultra balls potentially uh, because nest ball can search out the basics, uh, I can also use, I could probably cut Myster uh, Ultra Balls, add two Mysterious Treasures, two Enhanced Hammers in all honesty, uh, that way I can search uh, Lele. So looking at this opening hand here, the downside is, is I don't have any sort of draw supporters here, um, barring me drawing one, I would love to top deck a Lily, ooh actually he bricked. 
he's playing rare candy water deck uh, Swampert. That's the only other water deck I think that uses rare candy. He's probably playing like Ninetales Swampert or something. Alright, so we're going to nest ball opening turn. We're going to grab ourselves another Rallet. Check how many Decidueye we have in the deck. Oh, well, we get a forfeit win. Uh, it's always good to double check what you have in the deck before you start playing cards. You never want to go in just starting your combos right away and then finding out you only have one Decidueye, two of them are prized, and, or all three of your rare candy are prized, something along those lines. So that's something I've started doing more, is making sure I go through my deck, making sure I see what I have, what I'm missing. So we are taking on Fighting Steel Water Psychic. So the Psychic's probably a Lele, the Water's probably a Alolan Vulpix. Fighting is probably... Zygarde or Buzzwool, more than likely Buzzwool. Uh, I do want to go first. So, this is an okay opening hand, I guess. Um, I'm going to put Oranguru out as my active and put Zorua out onto my bench. Uh, simply because I do not want to risk my Zorua getting jet punched, potentially, if he is Buzzwool. We see a Metal Energy, Max Potions, Steven's Resolve. Buzzwell Metagross? I do want to draw a card. We get a Timer Ball, which is okay. So he has a Sudo Wudo. Which actually really sucks. Uh, we're going to Apricorn Maker. We're going to get two Nest Balls so that we can get two Rowlets. to double check we got two decidui so i can only get two rallets pretty much well uh three i i can get three rallets potentially because i have a decidui in hand i did not see that all right we can timer ball here um, i guess i'll get a zorark and a dartrix because I do not have a rare candy in hand. Which is really unfortunate, but it'll be whatever at this point. So it'll allow me to get a Zoroark built up next turn. And again, I he's playing fighting, so there's no real reason for me to try and risk uh, playing uh, Zorua out front. Because, I mean, again, he could have been Buzzwool. Play Buzzwool, attach a Fighting Energy, Jet Punch, get the knockout on my uh, Zorua. So we're going to get one Zoroark here. We're going to get one Dartrix here. So looking at this, I can get a Switch and a Rare Candy off of this Mallow. Draw them with my Zoroark. So I think that's my best option. So, Rare Candy and a Switch. Okay. So now we're going to trade with Zoroark. I'm looking at it. Judge doesn't seem like it's of any help to me here. Neither does Ultra Ball, but I could use Ultra Ball to search out something. Uh, so I'm just going to discard the Judge. We're going to draw the Rare Candy and the Switch. So now we have one Decidueye set up. And we can start picking on that Sudowoodo now. So Sudowoodo has 20 damage counters. Um, I pretty much just have to wait and see what he does next turn. He could fan club. He could play something on his bench. He has Delmize. He's not Scizor. He has to be like Metagross. Metagross Sudowoodo? Yep, he is Metagross. All right. So... What we need to start doing is attacking that Beldum. I'm actually going to trade the Ultra Ball here. Um, I guess I'll discard a Grass Energy and a Cynthia 
to grab a Decidueye, so now we have a second Decidueye going. I really wanted a Guzma so that I can get rid of that uh, Beldum. I know he probably is carrying Max Potion too, so we're going to Cynthia, get a brand new hand. There is a double colorless energy, there is an Ace, Ace Rolla. And that's pretty much all we have to do, right? Alright, so yeah, the, he's gonna burn one of the max potions, which I'm okay with. If he can start using those now, that means he can't use them when Metagross starts getting set up. Because, I mean, that just saves me from 240 HP that I don't have to worry about. Alright, so, we're gonna trade probably the Pal Pad. I don't see me playing Pal Pad this game. There's another Zerua. I probably just want a third Decidueye out on the bench, right? Yeah, I think I want another Decidueye out on my bench. So we'll search out for another Rowlet. We're gonna throw that down onto the bench. We are going to play an energy onto Rowlet. We're gonna get our Cynthia going. So we do have a choice band. We do have a Guzma, which I like. So what I can actually start doing is start picking on this uh, Delmise. And I need to get one damage counter onto this Beldum because next turn I do want to Guzma. Uh, even if he is a Matang, I can still take it out. I want to prevent that Beldum from being a Metagross. It looks like he's bricking hard. So he's gonna play Steven's Resolve. Uh, he does not have a Metagross set up, so it will end his turn. So he's probably gonna search out a Beldum, Rare Candy, and a Metagross. Uh, that is what I honestly think he's going to search out right here. Is he's going to search out Beldum, Metagross, and a uh, Rare Candy. So there's another, another double colorless energy. We're going to get this Beldum out. We're going to bring in my Zoroark. We're going to slap a Choice Band on the Zoroark. We are going to Feather Arrow the Sudowoodo. Because I believe Sudowoodo is going to be able to do 80 to my Zoroark, which actually sucks. But, I know next turn I can at least get a knockout on it. Uh, we are going to trade away the Breakthrough Latio, or the, yeah, the Breakthrough Latios. Draw two. So, I got potential for another uh, Zoroark coming up once I can get rid of that Gosh darn. Sudowoodo. And actually, I could potentially win the game if he does not play another Beldum onto his bench. Because I can pick off the Sudowoodos with the Feather Arrows from Decidueye, and then he is forced to bring in Delmise, and then I get a knockout on the Delmise. Hopefully, he probably played... Uh... He got like a... Metagross and Rare Candy off of that Steven's Resolve and then something else. Wasn't expecting me to take out the Beldum. That's game. That is game. That is all I can say is he does not actually win the game. So he's going to search his three cards. Uh, we're going to Feather Arrow, we're taking out the Sudowoodo. And now he is forced to bring in the Delmise. And the Delmise does get knocked out. We get a Max Potion if he were to start doing damage to the Sidueyes. And he forfeited, admitting that was game. So 2-0 so far with the deck. Uh, granted, the first one really doesn't count as uh, that was just a forfeit. So... Let us see what we have. We're almost too close to getting three packs, which is actually going to be nice. All right, so 
We'll try to get a third and fourth game. This is more of a control based deck, but you know what? I love this deck. One, Decidueye's top three favorite Pokemon. Rowlet, Decidueye, Sceptile, those, any order. Uh, Tails never fails. You want the coin flip. This deck you do want to go first with though, uh, so that you can get your Pokemon onto your bench. Fairly quick. So we did, unfortunately, not get a basic in my opening hand. Uh, I did not actually see what typing his deck was. Hopefully it is Ghost. I've played a couple Ghost decks so far. Or not Ghost. Psychic decks like Dawn Wings to Crosma, stuff like that. So I'm looking at my opening hand. I see a Nest Ball, which I like. That means I can get me a Rowlet. So he's playing Slugma. Uh, I can actually attach double colorless energy here because I am not worried about a uh, knockout here on my Zerua. I'm going to Cynthia my hand away. Oh, this is just perfect. All right, so one, we're going to get me another Rowlet onto my bench. We're going to Timer Ball. Again, this is just to thin the deck. We get two heads. So I'm going to grab me a Dartrix and a Decidueye. And that is pretty much going to pass turn there. So next turn, I will have a Zoroark. I will potentially trade away uh, the energy in my hand. Shrine of Punishment. Hmm. So this is why I do want Field Blower. Is, for, is when I do go against Shrine of Punishment. So I know I'm gonna have to add a Field Blower here somehow. So he is playing Clam Pearl. What does Clam Pearl do? If you go second, this Pokemon can evolve your first turn. Interesting. So he's gonna Lily, he's gonna get eight cards into his hand. All right, so I'm looking at it. Zoroark is getting a knockout next turn. He's gonna Ultra Ball, probably search out a Gorbis or a Huntail. More than likely the Huntail. All right, what does Gorbis do? No. Oh, well. So Gorbis, during your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage to this Pokemon by attacks from an evolution Pokemon. Okay, so this is pretty much like a stall-based deck. Uh, so he's going to search out a couple Gorbis. Um, the last thing he wants to see is potentially me getting a uh, my Decidueye set up. So we're going to evolve one. We're going to evolve another. We are going to Ultra Ball. We're going to get rid of the Energy Lotto and the Energy. We are going to search out a Tapu Lele. Why? We're going to search out a Rare Candy. We're gonna search out a rare candy and a Cynthia. We're gonna play Lele down onto the, uh, not rare candy. We're gonna search out, rare, uh, we're gonna search out Mallow. And off of the Mallow, we're gonna go rare candy and Cynthia. So we're gonna play Mallow here. We're gonna put rare candy, and we are going to put actually probably Guzma. Nah, Cynthia. Cynthia seems a little bit better. And we're going to actually trade away one of my Decidueye. We're going to evolve one of them. Because I still have Decidueye left in the deck, next turn I will have a fresh hand. And Zoroark will get a knockout here. So we have another Zoroark. I've already taken one prize. Uh, even if he goes Gorbis, that's okay, because now I can start picking on it. So he's going to Choice Band. He's going to be doing 50 damage to me. He's going to Cynthia's hand. And pretty much I'm going to be making a very similar play here. So he's going to be doing 60. That's going to be a little bit of an issue. We're gonna feather arrow for one. Start dealing damage on it. We're gonna trade away the energy lotto. And 
and I think I'm just going to Cynthia in my hand. I have nothing at this point right now. We do get another Decidueye, which is great. We can Feather Arrow, start chipping away at this. What'll really help me here is like a Guzma. Did I discard all my grass energy? Nope, I still have one grass energy in the deck, which is actually not bad for me to use a Decidueye's GX attack. So one, we are going to Guzma in probably this Clam Pearl. We'll get my Lele in. We're gonna trade one of the Ultra Balls here. Draw two cards. We got another Rowlet going. We got a Rescue Stretcher going. Uh, put a Pokemon from my discard pile into my hand. I could honestly max potion the Zorark. I don't have any double colorless energy in my discard, so I have three left between my prizes in my deck. I'll hold off on it, and we'll start picking on this Gorbis. So next turn, that Gorbis is down, and I can start picking on the other one. While he now has his Clam Pearl, and is forced to retreat. This is actually kind of a cool deck. A little, it's a little bit of a stall deck, but it could be an annoying budget deck. So he's going to just switch. And the good thing is, is I can max potion my Lele to keep it healthy. Pretty much just stall him out. Uh, did I discard my Ace Rolla? I did not, so I still have my Ace Rolla in deck. Deflecting Splash is going to do 80. We're going to take the damage. Zoroark is three turns from being knocked out. So that's something I got to keep in mind here. So we're going to Max Potion the Lele. We're going to Lily for two cards. We got another Max Potion, so I'm okay with that. We're gonna pick on one Gorbis. That is one knockout. We get a rare candy. That is the last thing he wanted to see. We're gonna rare candy. We're gonna evolve up this Rowlet. We got two more feather arrows here. So we can start picking on this Gorbis. And the last thing he wants to see is me trade and get a switch or escape rope or something along those lines. Um, we are going to trade away a timer ball. Timer ball really has no use for me now this turn. Uh, we get a Zerua here. Alright, so I will have to max potion my Zoroark next turn. Which is okay because his Gorbis is getting knocked out by my Decidueyes. Yeah, his uh, Gorbis will be knocked out by my Decidueyes. He's going to choose any supporter or stadium that he has, so he's going to get a Cynthia and a Guzma. Um, but he's already played a supporter for the turn. Nothing he can really do. If I had Ace Rolla, that would be much better play for me, but just not the case. Unless I top deck Ace Rolla. So we're going to Max Potion. We heal up my Zoroark. We get my next Zoroark into play. We are going to Lily. We're going to draw four cards. We have Nest Ball, Ultra Ball. We pretty much just win the game now. His Gorbis is getting knocked out. And he just has a Clam Pearl and a Spirit Tomb. Spirit Tomb gets... Knocked out by Zorark. Clam Pearl gets knocked out by Zorark, and I have two double colorless energy left in hand. So, a pretty good showing so far for Zorark Decidueye. Um, 
I'm gonna trade. We're gonna get rid of Apricorn Maker. Again, no use. Try to get an escape rope, get into the active. Um, we're gonna just trade away the netball. Unfortunately, none. Did I get rid of it? So we have... Nope. I still have escape rope and switch still in the deck. Uh, so we can pretty much just pick on Clamp Pearl now. Unless it evolves. So he's gonna Cynthia, just searching for that Gorbis. Uh, he might have his third Gorbis prized, honestly. That wouldn't surprise me. He's gonna Nest Ball, look for a basic. So now I have to be careful here with my turns of um, trade. I need to get as many KOs as I quickly uh, as quickly as possible. And you know what? I can actually do it here. So one, we're gonna Ace Roller. We're gonna pick up my Tapu Lele. We're gonna get my Zoroark in. Um, we're gonna throw a double colorless energy onto there. We're gonna start Feather. Oh, he's just gonna fourth. We're just gonna Feather Arrow the Clam Pearls. He's gonna bring something in. Zoroark was gonna claim a kill. So we're taking two prizes that turn. So three and zero so far the deck with the deck, and I get I can get one more in. See if we can go four and zero. So we're starting to get more event tickets, which I like. I got fifteen, and we do get three booster packs of Celestial Storm. I will be opening those off screen because. I'm um, hopefully trying to land a couple more cards like Bayonet. I'm trying to do like Zorark, Bayonet. Uh, trying to find like a Mr. Mime build. It's been hard to find a Mr. Mime build. Alright, so we're taking on Psychic, Metal, and Normal or Colorless. Psychic? Uh, this is a Metagross deck. God. Alright, so we're going to open up with these two here. So what I'm looking at here is I have Apricorn Maker so I can go get me a Timer Ball and a Nest Ball or, oh, we're just playing Solgaleo. That's interesting. That is interesting. Interesting. All right, so there's the Solgaleo Prism Star. We're gonna Apricorn Maker, we're gonna grab ourselves a couple of Nest Ball, or not Nest Ball, Timer Ball. We're gonna play one said Timer Ball. We get one, one and one, we're gonna pick up Zorark. Timer Ball again, we got one, one and one, we're gonna pick up a Decidueye. Okay, and that will be turn, past turn. So next turn I have one Decidueye, I have one Zorark, I have a Cynthia in hand, so we are starting to go underway. So I can start picking on the Solgaleo if I can get like a double colorless energy and a couple more Pokemon onto my bench. Uh, and maybe another, um, what would it be? A, a choice band. Another rare candy Decidueye off the Cynthia. Then I can pretty much just guarantee myself I win the game. He's going to Wonder Tag, probably get himself a Cynthia or uh, judges me. And then he's going to Radiant Star, probably get one energy attached onto his Cosmog. I'm trying to think here. Okay, we're going to Ultra Ball both Max Potions away. We're going to get a Zoroark. I could have Laylayed for a Cynthia, but I have a Judge in hand, so I'm still going to have four cards in hand. This this will do. I think we're gonna nest ball. We are going to get me a Zerua. We're going to trade away the grass energy. Hopefully, land a double colorless energy off the trade. We do. We're gonna energy lotto just to search. We're gonna Righteous Beating, we're gonna deal 100 damage to the Solgaleo Prism Star. Uh, he still has a lot of energy that he has to attach. 
So he's gonna nest ball, probably search out another Cosmog. Get that onto the bench so he can start getting Solgaleos going. Not much he can actually do here, which is actually really nice, and it makes me happy. So he's gonna Guzma, he's probably just gonna bring in Rowlet. So Nest Ball doesn't do anything for me uh, because I have two Ral or two more Ral or one more Rallet prized. Uh, we're in a Timer Ball. We get one heads, two heads. Wow! So we get a Decidueye and a Zoroark, and we do get a forfeit. Wow! Um, I'll take him. I mean, I'm not complaining about it. I'll take them. Uh, but I do want to get one more real game in with this. I think I'm 4 or 5 and 0 with this deck right now. I do want to get one more game in. Alright, so we're taking on Fighting Water. I know it's not... Oh, it's Garchomp. It's Garchomp. The uh, main reason I know that it's Garchomp is he's playing the Forbidden Light Garchomp. We do want to go first. Uh, fortunately, Brick, turn one. It's okay. Uh, we can see what we can potentially land with. Uh, Decidueye actually might be able to win us the game here. And not by Feather Arrows. I mean, it actually might be able to win the game because it does get a knockout with its attack. Uh, so this is actually a very good opening hand, I think. Alright, so he's going to draw, what, one or two cards potentially off my bricks? Yeah, draws two, we brick twice. So he's going to open up Riyalu, that is not what I wanted to see. But what we will do is we will timer ball, we get one heads, we do pick up a Zoroark for next turn. Even if he jabs, he's doing 20 damage. Um... I'm actually going to escape rope, and we're going to get our Rowlet in. Because now I'm forcing him to burn his own Guzmas to get his Dis Diancie Prism Star out of the active now. Which I'm okay with. I'm not mad about putting his Diancie Prism Star in the active. It means his Pokemon are now doing 20 less. He does play the Brooklet Hill, which means he can search out a Gibble, put it on the bench. Uh, I do need to start targeting that uh, Riyalu. Uh, if he's smart, he grabs another Riyalu here. And he's going to Lily for four cards. So, very good opening hand for him. Very good opening hand. And this is where I want Enhanced Hammers to get rid of that. So, we're going to play Zoroark here. Uh, I can actually trade away the Choice Band. Because Choice Band in the deck is actually of no use. In this matchup, um, we are actually going to Ultra Ball a Zoroark and a Max Potion away. We're going to grab ourselves Lele so that I can grab Lily. So with Lily, we're going to draw five. We have double colors, energy, choice band, another Zerua. We're going to tackle here just so I can put the Diancie in range of Zoroark knocking it out. What sucks is, is now his Garchomps are hitting super effective damage against my Decidueye. And I'm hoping he does not have rare candy. Alright, so I'm looking at this. I can mallow for a switch and a rare candy. So that I can get my Zoroark in the active. I can get me a Decidueye going. Which I kind of think I like. Candy and we're switch. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna trade away the choice band. We're gonna draw two. All right, we're gonna get my Rowlet in the active. So now we got a Decidueye. We can trade away the Judge. We can switch Zoroark in. We can get Dartrix evolved. And now we can start Feather Arrowing. The Gibble. So, deck is shuffled. We're gonna Righteous Beating for the knockout on Diancie Prism Star. So now his fighting types are no longer dealing 20 extra damage. Good. We did it in Orangaru. That actually might just be trade fodder now. I think, yeah, I think that might just be trade fodder. So he's gonna go out into his Riallo. He's gonna get. Oh, he has a Lucario GX. What? So he actually cannot do anything to me but Aura Strike. And Aura Strike is gonna do 180. It's in 240. Oh my god, really? One twenty, two forty. Yep. We play Decidueye. We're going to Cynthia. Hopefully, get a double colorless energy. We do. We're going to Timer Ball. One heads. Okay, good. We get Decidueye. So if I get sixty, no, I'm not going to be able to knock this thing out. Trade. Trade away Apricorn Maker, potentially. Yeah, we'll trade away Apricorn Maker. Draw two. And another Grass Energy. Nest Ball, we get a Zerua. Actually, you know what? We're going to get a Breakthrough Latios. Breakthrough Latios actually does really good versus the rest of his deck. Uh, we're going to pick on the Gibble here. One to get a knockout. And that's one of his double colorless energy gone. His other double colorless energy is on this Lucario GX. We do get a double colorless energy. So that is something we can uh, put onto this Latios. I still have escape rope, which is nice. And then I have my Decidueye, which still can use its GX attack, which I like. So I didn't want to attack him because he can use his GX attack and get a guaranteed knockout on my um, Zoroark. Right now, he cannot get a guaranteed knockout. If he gets a choice band, he would actually get a knockout, I believe. 90, 80, 110, 210. So he's just going to get a fighting energy. Cyclone kick. We'll pick up the knockout. That sucks. Uh, that does 130. That actually does take out my Latios. Hmm. I'm in a tough position here. I was not expecting a Lucario GX. So what I have to do with Lucario GX here is now put it in range of actually, uh... I have to put my Decidueye in range of actually getting a KO on this thing, and I actually messed up putting that double colorless energy onto my Decidueye. When I should have put it on Latios, dealt 60 damage, and dealt 30 to the Garchomp. Uh, because now, when I'm looking at it, He's going to pick up a KO here with Cyclone Kick. Uh, unless I get a third Decidueye here, I do not pick up KO. And I probably would have, if I would have gotten 60, that would have been 140. Yeah, I would have been able to get a KO had I put the double colorless energy on Latios. Oh, so that was a misplay there by me. Unfortunately, just bad play. I didn't think that through. I knew what I wanted to do by attacking with Latios. That's why I put it into the active. I just didn't think through by putting that double colorless energy there. Right, 
So what we're going to do is we're going to Ultra Ball these two away for another Decidueye. Thing is, is I need the max potions now. Actually, I can still probably do okay. Because what does he have? 80. Two more would be 40. Um, so, Hollow Hunt GX, I get three cards from my discard pile into my hand. So, I can get Latios, Choice Ban. He has nothing set up on the bench. So, if I get Latios, a rare candy, that gives me. It gives me a chance. To win. So if I go Latios, Rare Candy, and a Switch. Right? I can win? So we're going to Hollow Hunt GX. So we're going to get Latios, we're going to get Switch, and Rare Candy. So now my thought process on this. I'm going to deal him 60 damage. Now if you judge me, I'm screwed. Game's over. Wait, no, he gets the knockout on the GX attack. I didn't think that. I wasn't thinking about him going for the GX attack, so unfortunately, end the episode with a loss. But you know what? Uh, I actually enjoyed playing the deck. I had fun playing the deck. I think it's a deck that it won't be tier 1, might be tier 2 deck, uh, but it's a, just a fun deck to play. Uh, using one of my favorite Pokemon in Decidueye. If you guys enjoyed this, go ahead, like the video, comment your guys' support, subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon TCG content. But with all that being said, guys, I am Johnny GB, and I'm out.